today's video, we'll talk about the pros and cons of having a prepass for weigh stations. Disclaimer, we are not promoting prepass, nor is it a sponsored video by them. This is actually a suggested video by you, the viewers. So we did some digging around, found some information, and we'd like to share that with you. My name is Joko, and welcome to our channel where we discuss all things trucking and provide interesting tips and tricks for drivers just like yourself. So in today's video about the prepass, we'll talk about what is a prepass, who can use it, when can you use it, and how can you use it. So make sure you watch the entire video so that you don't miss any important information regarding the usage of the prepass and if it applies to you. Let's start with what is a prepass. Prepass, provided by Prepass Safety Alliance, is the leading waste station bypass platform in North America. With Prepass, qualified motor carriers that comply with safety, weight, and credentials requirements can bypass waste stations and ports of entry at highway speeds, saving them time, fuel, and money. Hey, real quick, we noticed that 99% of you watching are not subscribed to our channel. If you like these types of videos and you learn something from them, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button below. It may not mean anything to you, but it means a lot to us. Hit the subscribe button. Now back to the video. Okay, so this means that not every carrier may have a uh, prepass account. But if you have a transponder in your truck, that means your carrier qualifies for the prepass system. And therefore, let's have a look at how the prepass system works and how do you know which way stations it works on. The transponder does exactly what it says. It communicates between the scale house and your vehicle and lets you know whether or not you're okay to bypass the scale or you must exit and weigh yourself. The way it achieves that is with the help of so-called advanced vehicle identification readers, which are huge poles placed, uh, mounted to the side of the road by the weigh in motion scale pads. So when the truck goes underneath those readers, the reader takes the information from the transponder, sends it to the scale house, where the computer will check if the carrier meets all the safety requirements and that all the information is current and up to date. And once it confirms that, it will send the signal back to your transponder with either a green light or a red light. Green light means the truck is okay to bypass and red light, which means that the truck needs to enter the way station. Where do you need to be in order for the AVI to properly work. Generally, scales are located on the right side of the highway, so drivers need to be in the right lane. But sometimes scales are also in the median, and the only way to access that would be on the left lane of the highway. So, for all intents and purposes, you need to be in the lane that has access to the way station for at least one mile before the actual way station. Because some way stations have way in motion scales on the highway as well as those advanced vehicle identification readers. So when you pass through the way in motion scales and pass underneath the AVIs, your transponder will actually tell you if you need to exit or you can just continue to bypass. According to Prepass, their Prepass system can actually identify 99% of uh, Prepass drivers and come up with a decision within one second. Just like I said before, your carrier needs to qualify in order to be in the prepass system. How does prepass know which carriers to take? When the carrier applies for the prepass program, before obtaining the device, prepass scans the carrier using safety and credential data from nearly 90 different state and federal data sources, including SAFER. These carriers not only have to meet the criteria, but also maintain any state-specific requirements to be eligible to use the prepass services. So that simply means once you do have a prepass account, you need to maintain your account in good standing if you want to continue using their services. How do you know which way stations are participating in the prepass program? It's important to know that not all way stations are actually part of the prepass program, meaning you cannot use your prepass device on all of the way stations. So how do you know which way stations are actually participating in the prepass program? Usually about a mile before you enter the way station, there will be signs posted up that say prepass site follow in cap instructions. These signs are usually placed by the way in motion scale pads on the highway. And that's when you can use your prepass uh, device to bypass the scale. What kind of information does the way station get from the transponder? It all depends on how the way station is set up, what type of information 
the way station is set up to receive and transpond to the vehicle. There are actually four types of screenings that the way station may do with the prepass system. First, we have phase one site, which does only credential screening. Second, which does credential screening and carrier compliance. We have a phase two site, which does credential screening and way in motion screening. Lastly, we have a phase three site that has credential screening, way in motion screening and carrier compliance. All these things mean exactly what they say. Credential screening simply means that the system will scan the carrier if they are an active user of the system of the program and that they're in good standing. Way in motion screening simply means that the system will check the vehicle if it complies with all local and state uh, weight laws. And lastly, we have the carrier compliance screening, which I'm assuming checks the DOT numbers, the MC numbers, and make sure that the carrier has a good safety score and the carrier is in compliance with state and federal FMCSA laws. You should also know that sometimes the system pull, may pull in drivers randomly just to double check their credentials. The scale master also has the ability to uh, manipulate the system in ways where it will have all the pre-pass drivers enter the scale in order to be weighed. The scale master may also set up the system so that the system randomly decides which pre-pass drivers need to be pulled into the way station or allow it to decide by itself. So that simply means that even if you have a prepass device, it doesn't necessarily mean that you will bypass scales all the times. You may be subject to a random pull-in and your credentials may be confirmed at the way stations. How can you know when you can bypass a way station? Rule number one, drivers must operate their vehicles safely and adhere to the size, height and weight regulations of each state where they travel. They must also carry valid operating credentials at all times. Rule number two, drivers must pull into any way station, inspection location or port of entry when their vehicle's pre-pass transponder displays a red light or fails to emit a signal as they approach. All vehicles are also subject to random pull-ins. Rule number three, drivers must pull into all open way stations, inspection locations and ports of entry if their vehicle's cargo is identified in any of the bypass restrictions for the state where they are traveling. Failure to comply may result in fines and increased pull-in rates. Rule number four, drivers must only have one prepass issued transponder installed in their vehicle. The installed transponder must match the vehicle's transponder assignment on record with the prepass service center. Rule number five, drivers must use the lanes designated for prepass users when approaching a prepass location. And rule number six, Drivers must pull into all non prepass open way stations, inspection locations, and ports of entry. How does the prepass system actually work? In the following animation, we'll demonstrate exactly that. We will assume the way station is a phase three site, which means they'll have credential screening, way in motion screening, and carrier compliance screening. As the truck passes over the way in motion pads, the system registers the gross weight, the speed, and the axle spacing of the vehicle. The truck then passes under the Advanced Vehicle Identification Reader, which reads the truck's transponder and communicates with the prepass system. The prepass system then checks for the truck's safety and credential clearance status, as well as the weight of the truck that was registered at the Way in Motion system to make sure it's compliant with local and state weight laws. Based on the truck's clearance status, the system then sends a signal to the transponder of the driver to either bypass or enter the scale house. A green light will indicate to bypass, a red light will indicate to enter the scale. If a driver receives a red light to enter the scale house, but decides to bypass the scale anyway, after the entrance ramp to the scale, there is a roadside bypass compliance reader that identifies when a truck does exactly that. These compliance readers take note of the driver's failure to obey the signal and mark the carrier in the system. If multiple drivers from the same carrier fail to oblige, the system will automatically consider that carrier a potential flight risk and will pull those drivers into the scale regardless of the other parameters. If a driver receives a green light and bypasses the scale, the green light on the prepass transponder will continue flashing for about 15 minutes after passing the scale. 
This provides confirmation to enforcement officers that the driver has legally bypassed the scale if he or she gets pulled over. That was a neat animation. You know, as a driver, you're responsible for your own actions. However, with prepass, your actions also translate as a consequence for other drivers as well. So that's something that you might want to consider. We are not here to tell you what you need to and what you don't need to do. That is solely something up to you. If you want to keep bypassing scales on your own accord, go ahead and do that. Just don't get angry at companies when they try to hire you and they don't want to hire you because you have tickets and violations for illegally bypassing scales. So that's something totally on you. However, if you're a new driver to the industry, I would definitely recommend obey as many laws as you can. Later on in your career, you will learn the loopholes and that's how you can manipulate the law in your advantage. However, do use your head and think rationally. If you've learned anything from this video, please hit that like and subscribe button below and share it with someone that has a prepass but doesn't really know how to use it. We really want to thank you for sticking around so much and thank you for the suggestion. So if you do have any other suggestions on what type of videos you'd like us to create, please put it down in the comments below and I make sure to read all the comments and get to everyone as, much, as fast as I can. Other than that, Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.